In this video, we'll demonstrate how to harvest data from a Revit 2025 model using Tracer version 4, and then how to bring that into a Power BI report via a Power BI template. To harvest data from your model, navigate to the Proving Ground tab in your Revit ribbon menu, and then select the Tracer Exporter icon. This should open a window where you have the ability to change the settings for this harvest. At the top of the window, there is an export preset menu where you can select a preset, such as the standard ones that are included with Tracer, seen here, or create or save new presets based on your selections below. The next section is the geometry options section. Here you have the option to include 2D information, 3D information, as well as adjust the 3D export settings. The settings that we recommend to use here are to set the detail level to fine, set the smoothness level to 0.1, which helps to reduce the geometric complexity of curved surfaces, and leave bounding box for large meshes unchecked. If you do check the option to use bounding box for large meshes, there's a chance that for some of your very complicated geometry pieces within the model, rather than exporting the actual geometry, the tracer exporter will utilize a bounding box that represents the extents of that geometry. This can be useful if you have particularly large or complicated models so that you don't bog down the rest of your data set based on its most complex elements. Beneath the Geometry Options section, there's a Revit Categories section. Here, you can select all of the categories that you want to be included in your dataset. You can utilize the search tool to narrow down the list below to find specific categories that you want to either check or uncheck in the dataset, as well as the Select All and Select None buttons. You also have the ability to filter down this list to only the elements that are in your active view. Below the Revit Categories section, there's an additional content section where you can select whether or not the export should include the line styles and warnings from your Revit model. Once you're satisfied with your selections, you can choose the export option and save the data set. Tracer will harvest all of the data from your Revit model and save it to a tabular SQLite database. While the model's exporting, a progress bar will appear on your screen. When the harvest is complete, Tracer should open your Windows file browser to the location where the file has been saved. And from here, you can use this data in Power BI. To demonstrate this, I'll open one of our Power BI templates. To use the template, copy in the file path where indicated. This template uses multiple file paths because it combines data from two separate Revit harvests into one report. To authenticate, choose either the Windows option or default or custom option, and then hit Connect. You'll do this for both of the models, since there are two models being connected to in this case. You might get a warning about privacy levels. If you're using your own model data, you can ignore privacy levels. This will process and import your model data into the template. From here, you should be able to customize your Power BI visuals within the report, as well as visualize your model using the Tracer visuals for Power BI. In this template, we're using the Tracer 3D visual to visualize both the architectural model as well as the context model 
in one view.